Chief political correspondent Dennis Bash, he spoke with Senator Schumer about Democrats' plans going forward. So ha have they picked the battles that they're going to fight with the Republicans? Uh, they're not sure, but uh, Senator Schumer said that he expects that there will probably be a lot of them. Look, Chuck Schumer was hoping that he was going to walk in today and be the majority leader of the Senate, that Democrats were going to regain control yep. because they certainly had the map in their favor going into Election Day, and that he'd be working with President Hillary Clinton. Yeah. Neither of those things is happening today. Now he suddenly finds himself the leader of the Trump opposition, and that means walking a very fine line, which we talked about. The only way we're going to work with him is if he moves completely in our direction and abandons his Republican colleagues. That's not going to happen very often, and I'm, I, I'm even less uh, optimistic that any of that could happen seeing his cabinet choices. 90-95% of the time we'll be holding his feet to the fire and holding him accountable. But we're Democrats. We're not going to just oppose things to oppose them. I've known you for a long time. You love a deal. Not unlike the president-elect. I find that hard to believe that you well, don't want to make Here's the him. problem. The Republicans in the Senate and the House have been run by a hard right group an almost Tea Party group, and they are so far away. But now they've got a deal maker in the are. White House, just well, like look, you. Well, look, we're going to look at the specifics of what is proposed, and on the overwhelming um, bunch of them, particularly given who he's chosen as his cabinet people, we're going to have to oppose him because we just disagree in principle. Of course, I'd like to make a deal. You know, if we could get together on immigration and have a path to citizenship. Just as I was happy to work with John McCain and Lindsey Graham, I'll be happy to work with Donald Trump. But he hasn't even talk, come close to talking about that. So we're going to end up opposing him on those How issues. How much pressure are you feeling from the progressives? I mean, I'll just give you one example. Democracy for America leading a progressive group said, Democratic leaders from Chuck Schumer down need to stop playing footsie with Trump and pretending we can find We're playing no footsie. My views are exactly the same as Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders. Both Since of them when? have said both of them have said the same exact thing. If we can work with him and be true to our principles, we're not going to reject it. But overall, we're sticking to our principles. We're not compromising for its own sake. We're not taking a quarter of a loaf to say, quote, we can get something done. Our principles are going to be our guiding light. And one of the things, Jim, that's going to make it even harder for him than uh, 